Hello, you are welcome. How to solve for x in this nice square problem? From here, let's square both sides. On this side, we have square root of 2. Then, inside that, we have square root of 16 and also square root of 16. So, everything on this side square. Now, equal to here, we have 16 raised to the power 2x, also all squared. Then, from here, this square, we cancel the square roots. Then we have 2 multiply by square root of 16. Then, also root 16 inside, which is equal to here. This power will multiply on the, power, on the law of indices. That is, a raised to power m, a raised to power m, same as a raised to power m a. Then here, it implies we have 16 raised to power 4x. Then also, in the next step, we square both sides again. Then what we have here becomes 2 multiply by root 16, then root 16, all square now, equals to 16 raised to power 4x, also all square. Then this power here, we affect 2 here, so we have 2 square. Then we affect square root of 16, then root 16 here. So that also square, which equals to also from this law, this multiplied, and we have 16 raised to power 8x. Then here, 2 square. We still leave it as 2 square. Then here, square cancel square root. So we have 10, 16 root 16 here, which is equal to 16 raised to power 8x. Then here, 16 same thing as 2 raised to power 4. So we have 2 raised to power 2 times 2 raised to power 4 here, then times root 16. Which is equal to 16 raised to power 8x. Then also from the law of indices, a raised to power n times a raised to power n. This is same thing as a raised to power n plus n. That is here. What we have here becomes 2 raised to power 2 plus 2, which is 2 raised to power 6. Then times root 16. Now equals to 16 raised to power 8x. Now here also let's take the square on both sides. So square this side and also we square this side. So the square here also we affect this and we have 2 raised to power 6. Then raised to power 2 then times to 16. Also raised to power 2. Then equals to also this here multiply and we have 16 raised to power 16 x. Now here from the law of indices we have so this multiplies and we have 2 raised to power 12. Then times here this cancel each other we have times 16 left equals to 16 raised to power 16 x. Then here, 16 is 2 raised to the power 4, so we have 2 raised to the power 12 times 2 raised to the power 4 equals to here we have also 2 raised to the power 4, then raised to the power 16x. Then, the law of indices, also we have this power, and we have 2 raised to the power 16, 12 plus 4, and that equals to here, this power multiplies also. We have 2 raised to the power 64x. Now, from the law of indices, when we have a raised to the power m equals to a raised to the power n, so from here we have m equals to n. So when we apply this here, it means this power we equate it and we have 64x now equals to 16. 
तो ये डिवाइस वो सर्वाइसेस से फॉर गेट एक्स नहीं ये दिस कांसो ऑफ्स नहीं वी हैव एक्स ये इक्वल्स तू डी लोअर्स फंक्शन ये वी हैव वन ओवर फोर सो एक्स ये इक्वल्स तू वन ओवर फोर नहीं तू चेक इफ दिस सर्वाइसेस डी गिवन प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम व्हाट वी हैव व्हिच इज स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ तू देन रूट सिक्सटीन Sixteen equals to sixteen raised to power two x. Now we substitute the value of x from here, and then this becomes two times one over four. That is from here. We can write this, and this will become square root of two then root. Since we can write sixteen as two raised to power four. Also here, root 2 raised to power 4, now equals to here, 2, since this power multiplied, 2 here 1, 2 here 2, then we have 16 raised to power half. Then, also, square root here, it's also written as, then we have root a, that's a raised to power half. Then, from there, we have this as, Root two raised to power four will now become two raised to power four raised to power half. Which here two goes here one two goes here two. That means we have two raised to power two. So root two raised to power four here two raised to power two. Then we have square root of two. Then root two raised to power four here ten times two raised to power two for this. Then equals to here sixteen is two raised to power four. Then raised to power half. Then that means here applying the power law. I mean applying the law of indices. This is two raised to power six now. So we have square root of two. Then root two raised to power six. Now from here equals to here two one. 2 here 2, so 2 raised to power 2. Then, now, from here as well, this square root of 2 raised to power 6, same thing as 2 raised to power 6, then raised to power half. And 2 goes here 1, 2 goes here 3, so we have 2 raised to power 3 for root 2 raised to power 6. And that means we have square root of 2 times 2 raised to power 3. Now is it equals to 2 raised to power 2. Then here is power 1. Then we have the power as well. We have square root of 2 raised to power 4. Is it equal to 2 raised to power 2? And from here as well, root 2 raised to power 4 is same thing as 2 raised to power 4 then times 1 over 2. Then 2 here 1, 2 here 2, which is everything here is 2 raised to power 2, which is equal to 2 raised to power 2. So from here we have the left hand side equals to the right hand side. That means from here we can conclude that the value of x is equals to 1 over 4 from the given problem. So thank you for watching. Don't forget the steps. Subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. See you next time. Bye for now.